Hi, I'm Stefan, product lead at Avassa. In this video, I will illustrate the main features of our built-in PubSub bus. You might have heard us mentioning that, for example, in the observability video, I showed you alarms and, and metrics, and those are managed by that PubSub bus. Before illustrating it, I will explain a little bit on the concept. So, at each site, there's an incarnation of a PubSub bus. So, on that edge site, you can produce data, you can consume data. And Avas as a platform, we have a number of built-in topics that we generate data, but as an application developer, you can create your own topics and use that as well. By default, the data stays on the edge site. And that might come as a surprise. You're so used to, in these cloud, cloudy days, uh, that data is immediately streamed to the cloud, but that is not a very efficient uh, design principle in the edge use case. Imagine your container logs generate lots of data every second. Uh, it's better to do local processing, local filtering, and then maybe send aggregated and filtered data to the cloud. So that's by default, it, it's managed on the edge site and then you do processing there. There is also a central instance of the PubSub bus in the control tower, and that's for managing data that relates to the system as a whole. Um, I will illustrate that in the demonstration here pretty soon. Another important thing returning to the edge sites is that in the same way as we described uh, in the previous videos that if you have a cluster of hosts, state is replicated, images are replicated so that you can survive a host um, failure. The same goes with, with the PubSub bus. So if you have a cluster and the data is replicated, so it will survive hosts coming and going. Then finally, so if you have a lot of interesting data at the edge sites, maybe you do local processing and, and sending that data further to the center cloud, that's one principle. But a very important feature of the VASA system is that you have an endpoint in control tower, a central endpoint where you can do distributed queries. So for example, you can ask a query, say, across all my edge sites that have a specific label, say region North America, uh, search all the container logs and where they contain the string error. So what will happen there is that you put that to a central endpoint, the control tower will distribute that to all relevant edge sites, the edge sites will do local processing, local filtering for their respective data, that will be sent back and then merged as a response back to your endpoint again. So that, that's a very cool thing with the distributed queries and I will show you that in the demo. With that as an intro, let me give some examples here. Um, so we can start here with the Denver site. As we described in the previous videos, a site is a number of hosts and here we have a host. Let's look at some metrics. Um, so this was also shown in the observability demo that we collect memory, CPU, load, etc. for that host. We collect it historically, but you see it being streamed live here as well. That is under the hood utilizing a topic in the PubSub bus for host metrics. A very important thing also that we did show you from an application perspective is that you can do, we can, let's go to Denver again. You can go to an application uh, on that site and you can query the container logs since five minutes. So now it's going back in time five minutes, but it's also streaming and live back to the control tower here. So that's another usage of the PubSub as a different topic. In this case, it's a topic that relates to this specific application. And also note well what I just said, you can go back in time, but you can also stream. So in this case, since the UI has started a session, now we're streaming container logs directly from that site back to the control tower in real time. But that's since I clicked that site by default again, that's not the way it works. It stays on the site until you need it. That were two examples of usage of the container logs. Let's go back to the site again. So you have a uh, query picker here. So you can go to specific site, you can go to query topics, and here you will get a list of the built-in topics. I will not go through all of them. You can read a reference documentation on the various topics we have but you, you can, from the name, you can see what they do. So the host matrix one, that is what we use to render those graphs. Um, alerts are the things that are 
very important. So applications uh, with serious failures, uh, hosts getting out of disk space, etc. Those topics are highly relevant and actually what makes the alarm bell go here. Having that said, uh, alerts are a special case because if you have an alert on a site, how do we get the real-time ping in the control tower? So it, it's one of the few topics that are generated on the site, stored on the site, but also immediately generated to the top. So alerts is one such example. Uh, audit logs are another example because if, if a site is compromised, maybe locked down, you, you would need the audit trail logs in, in the control tower as well. But those are two topics that, that are special in that case. There was a number of uh, topics that lives on the edge site. Please read our reference manual on that. If we go back to the, another way here, so to the left, you have a search thing called topics. If I click here, now I'm into the topics in the control tower. So from this point now, you're not searching topics at the edge site. Now you're searching topics in the control tower. And what can that be? Here again, some examples. A very good example is deployment events because when you deploy your applications, uh, when you create a deployment, when you modify a deployment, that is something that lives in the control tower. Uh, so if you want to have a dashboard to see what, what's going on, which applications are being deployed, you can subscribe to these ones. If you want to uh, troubleshoot maybe some uh, things that relate to control tower, let's go to system logs as an example here. And you can, uh, since five hours, let's search for info items. So now we're searching this topic here. And you can see some generic generic information on that one. So at this point in the demonstration, we have shown that you have topics that live on the edge site. You can query them. Uh, I also showed you that you have topics in the control tower. I also explained there are a few topics like the alerts that is immediately propagated from the edge site to the central control tower. Uh, let's talk a little bit on multi-tendency. So here, for example, in Denver, if you look at the tenant's perspective, I have another tenant at Denver that is running an ACMA application. So that means that what I just explained, that every application writing container logs will have a certain topic that can be queried. Does that mean that I, as a site provider, have insight in the, into those container logs? So if we go here to query topics and check the ones, and we can see that I have access to my own container logs, which is the visitor counter. But note well, I don't see any topic relating to ACMAS um, application logs. I will talk more about that in a while here when I turn into some uh, Avasa command line tools um, to show you more, more examples. So we've seen searching logs at the site, we've seen searching logs in control tower. So as I explained in the introduction, you can do a central query across edge sites. How do you do that? I will start with a very simple one and do more advanced when I turn over to a bit of uh, command line demos here. But I'm at now at the visitor counter application. You have seen that I can speak, pick a site and pick the containing logs of that application on that site. But you also have the possibility to query logs on all sites. So in this case, if I do a query now, since the last five minutes, I will pick up container logs from all sites. And you can put a, a filter here if so like, but I'll do a quick one here for demo purposes. And so now we are using an endpoint in the control tower to send a distributed query to all edge sites which collect their container logs from last five minutes that is merged back into a unified response back to control tower. So that was the first demonstration of the distributed query engine. I'll wrap up the demonstration with using the Avasa command line subctl to illustrate some of the features you've seen in the web UI. I will also go into more detail on some aspects. So right now uh, in this command line here, I'm logged in as a site provider. That means that I 
have information about the complete infrastructure and the application that I did deploy the visitor counter. You can start by listing the topics and we've talked about the pub sub bus in the documentation the nickname is Volga so wherever you see Volga in the documentation that's the pub sub bus. So I'm now listing the available topics in control tower. So here you see the ones that you did see in the UI. So here I see the, uh, the audit trail log, for example, I see all the deployment events because they exist in control tower because it's from there you deploy things. Uh, you don't deploy at the sites. Uh, if you want to look at that, what data is available on that topic, you can do one command that we call consume. Consume is a simple sort of consumer to a certain topic. It will show you the available data on that one. So here you can see all the items, timestamp and the payload. And in this case, it's about deployment. So you'll see the status of the deployments. That was an example of consuming data that the UI did all the time when I requested things. Uh, you can also get metadata about the topic. So we can do the same topic here and uh, to show the topic not the data but metadata about the topic so here you can see which tenant owns it um, the size of it when it was created the number of entries etc you can also see which producers are producing data and which uh, consumers are consuming data so that's the, the metadata uh, about the topic <clears throat> uh, that was showing topics and data topics in the control tower and of course you can do the same thing for a site so now i'm doing list volga topics again but towards the site of denver so that should give me a different set of topics so here you see for example that now i have the uh, container log topic which of course lives at this site i also have scheduler events which of course lives at the site because the scheduler is is per site, uh, the autonomous scheduler on the, the sites. So that did show you, so I'm on the site, the different topics and, and local data for that site. And note well also that I'm still this, the site provider tenant and, and I deployed the visitor counter. Remember we had a, uh, another tenant, uh, the ACMA tenant. So I can switch profile here. Um, so in, in subctl, you switch um, profile to the ACME. So now I'm logged in as ACME. So I'm a different tenant now. And if I do the same thing here, uh, look at the topics available on that site where I also had another application running, me, me as an ACME tenant had an application. So here you can see that I have access to my container logs, uh, but obviously not. Uh, on this, that same site, we have a visitor counter application, but I can't access it. It, it. I don't even know that it exists there. So there you did see uh, working with the PubSub bus using SubCTL, also some details on, on site topics versus control tower topics, and also the isolation between tenants. Uh, let me switch back here to the site provider tenant. Uh, I mentioned a couple of times that you can do queries uh, from the top. Uh, the distributed query engine is you can formulate uh, an advanced query in the control tower that gets distributed to all relevant sites according to the query. Data is filtered, searched locally, and then the response is sent back. I'll show you just one example here uh, to, to illustrate that thing. I did it in the web UI, a very simple one. I asked the control tower to show me container logs across all the sites. That was one example of, of that kind of query. And here's another one. So what I'm doing here is that I'm searching something we call system colon logs. That's an Avasa topic where we generate uh, relevant log items that are very important when you're sort of troubleshooting. So what I'm doing here is that across all my sites, sending a query and for data within that topic that includes warning. So one single endpoint for the query, search across my 10,000 sites, 
search for log items where I have warning and then give me the payload back. And there we got across all the sites. So that was an illustration of the distributed query engine, how efficiently you can search your data across your sites. Uh, the final thing here, I'll just show you briefly on how you as a uh, application developer can create your own topics. I'll actually go back um, to the ACMA. So imagine you're, you're part of the application team, you have deployed an application and you realize that you, you've got to produce telemetry data and you would like to use the built-in PubSub bus to, to store that data and, and um, have other clients subscribe to it. And that's very easy. Uh, you can just create your own topic. So you can be a good citizen here and say, I'm creating a topic that I call ACMA colon my own topic and to store strings on that one. And note well, uh, topics are site per site. The PubSebus has an instance per site. So I'm creating that topic on that site now. So now I have a topic uh, available so I can produce. So now uh, I can own the same topic here. I'm producing one item that was produced and then of course I can do a simple consume to see that that is available. There's the one item uh, and that topic is available in the backend so whatever API, web UI etc you would use that topic along with its data is available. So that concludes the demo on the built-in PubSub bus nicknamed Volga in Avasa system. Thank you.